Hello everybody and welcome to Accounting 2. I just wanted to give a brief video here to kind of get you guys started, make sure you knew where everything was. I'm guessing that most of you just took Accounting 1 last semester so you're already familiar with my accounting lab, but my course might be set up just a little bit differently so I wanted to show you around. Um, the course homepage, which you kind of uh, go to automatically, will show you um, upcoming assignments and a little calendar here of what's due. This is also where I post the announcements, so I'll make sure you check that regularly for announcements. The announcements should also be emailed to whatever account you have linked to my accounting lab. And also purchase options here. You can um, use my accounting lab for 14 days before you have to pay, and so if you don't have an access code you can use it and then it will show you um, uh, somewhere on here for uh, oh here purchase options if you if you need to purchase it there. Course information is where I have these videos posted, um, which you can't see right now. Also, uh, some orientation material to get you started, the syllabus and the course schedule and the due dates. These are documents um, here that I have posted for you. If I have other things, I might post them here. I'm going to do a separate video where I go through those in a little more detail, but I just wanted to show you around a little bit here. Study guides and course resources are documents that I have posted. Um, I'm putting all these up here. You may or may not find them helpful. These are um, PowerPoints that would have been from the in-person class. So basically, I'll just show you kind of what one looks like here. This is where I am um, kind of lecturing in class. There's no audio with these. These are just kind of the finished product on here, which is why I'm um, going to let you decide whether you want to use these or not. But it has it has notes on the different topics and it has me uh, it has some solved problems on here. So for instance, here's um and I'm not the great greatest at writing on the tablets. It's not always that neat, which is why I wasn't sure, but but it does help you kind of show what I focus on when I'm going in class. So if the if the chapter's kind of long, this might help you um just kind of see what kinds of things I'm focusing on. And then I also um I'm solving a lot of the short problems. Now these I have set up for you so you can um, you can do these problems as well and it might be easier for you to do in person but uh, if you just want to kind of see what again I, I think the biggest help for these outside of my handwriting is that you can see what kinds of issues I'm focusing on in class because sometimes the chapters kind of long and this kind of um, uh, condenses it a little bit and um, you can kind of pick out the important parts and so um, you can feel free to use these or not use them. You know, try them out, see if you think they're helpful or not. The other thing in here are reviews uh, for uh, the midterm and the final, so you can find those in here as well. The publisher resources they have for every chapter. The old chapters from Accounting 1 are still in here in case you want to refer to something. But otherwise, um, and you're probably already familiar with these, uh, you can go to Chapter 12, you've got the demo docs, you've got um, the multimedia stuff which will have some PowerPoints. I do have the publisher PowerPoints in here, but they're very long. Like chapter 12 is 78 slides, which I think is a little bit long. Uh, the study plan, don't forget about that one. So those are all in here as well. Those are the ones the publisher puts out. Uh, so this is all kind of information for you and additional resources for you. Assignments, do homework or take a quiz, right? So homework, you've got here, um, you've got the media homework and you've got the homework homework. Uh, the media is not part of your grade, but I do recommend those that they're solving the problems, and I think those are, are very helpful. Um, what you'll also have here, it says media, but it's really kind of media and practice, we'll say. So, um, you, you've got your different types of things here. I, I don't know about you, you're welcome to use the flashcards, but the, the solve problems, I think, are, are the demo docs are, are super helpful. And these here will be practice problems. These might be what I'm running through as class as kind of a demo. These are the short exercises. So those are um, those are very brief, but they'll just do one con concept at a time, whereas the exercises and the problems will pull in multiple concepts. But these are nice short ones. You can do these. These are not part of your grade, so you can work these as many times as you want. Um, it's not going to affect your grade, but if you want to try some of these things before you actually sit down to do the homework, you can certainly do that. And then the homework um, is the graded. You get uh, three attempts um, to do those. Some of these are actually the same, or they're similar to the the short exercises. So you can do you can do those. Um, oh, you got two two tries on those. Sorry. Um, 
So there's your homework. Also down here at the end is Excel working papers if you prefer to do your, your homework in Excel before you do it on here. And these are the PowerPoints from the publisher are also in here. Again, they're, they're a little bit long, but, um, but there's good info in there. The study plan is not part of your grade, but I highly recommend it. Um, keep in mind that you can, you don't have to do the whole chapter. So let's say you're working in chapter 13 and you're okay with the characteristics and journalizing the stock, but you just can't get the dividends or something like that. You can do just that section of the study plan. You don't have to do every problem in the study plan. You can do um, just the part that you think you need a little extra work on. So feel free to do that. These cannot hurt your grade at all, and the more you work these problems, the easier they get. So sometimes I think people um, pass on the study plan because it's so long, but keep in mind you can work just sections of it. So, um, so I encourage you to do that. Oh, the quizzes back here in the assignments are these are the graded quizzes. So these are the ones that are part of your grade. These are the practice quizzes. And again, if you work these, uh, practice quizzes, they will populate the study guide with just the ones you need extra practice on. So if you take if you take the chapter 13 pretest, the things that you get correct, it will take out of the study plan for you. So when you go to the study plan, you can work on just the things you need practice on. So um, let's say I uh, I go here. Um, Right now I have it set to show all, so everything will be in here, but I can also say, just show me what I need to study. Right now that would be the same since I hadn't done the practice quizzes. But if you um, if you get it right, you can say, just show me what I need to study, and it'll show you just what you missed on the pretest, if you if you took the pretest. But even if you said, well, I really just got lucky on that one, you can just hit show all, and it will do all the problems in that chapter for you. Uh, the grade book will show you what you're doing. Um, it'll, it'll It'll be should be properly weighted. Um, that's not part of your grade. Mine looks just a little bit different than yours. Of course, with uh, my accounting lab, you get the e-text. I'm not going to do these, so don't worry about that. So you can jump right in here and go straight to the e-text. I think you're probably already familiar with that one. It's fine with me if you want to use just the e-text. If you don't want to use, if you don't want to buy a hard book and you just want to buy the access code and use the e-text, that's perfectly fine with me. And um, let's see, some of the communication modules is a good way to email me. And I think that's about it for how yours will look. So um, take a little time to look around, uh, see what's going to help you. There's an awful lot of tools in here. Sometimes it's almost too much, right? But you can um, use what you find useful to you, uh, but it's, it's worth exploring. And um, I think you're probably already, again, familiar with my accounting lab in general. I just might have a little different setup. So take a look around, see what's here, see what's helpful, and let me know if you have any questions.